guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha and today's video is a part of the Emergency Collaboration. This is a collaboration that is hosted by Tanya over at Lowell's Family Adventures and I am the co-host here at The Budget Preppers. We have some wonderful content creators bringing you freeze-dried slash dehydrated meals in a jar for the entire month of March. This collaboration does have a live giveaway, which is April 6th. I will leave all of that linked down in the description box below. We have some fantastic prizes. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a single serving vegan potato soup bowl. So this is super delicious. This meal is completely dairy free and meat free. It is allergen friendly for the most part and I am super excited to share it with you. So I'm gonna bring you guys down here. Like always, the recipe will be linked down in the description box below, so don't feel like you've got to write this all down as you're watching. And leave me a comment below if you think this is one that you would like to add to your pantry storage. All right, so I'm going to be using just a small jar today because this is a single serving. You will need some instant mashed potatoes. I am just using the Walmart brand of instant mash. Nothing fancy here. You will need a little bit of this soy sauce powder. I will leave this link down in the description box below. You will need a little bit of this hickory smoked powder. This is what brings together the texture and the flavor of real bacon with it not being actual bacon. You're going to need some freeze dried onions, some oat milk, or you can use coconut milk in this. This is just powdered oat milk. And then you will need some TVP. This is what we're going to make our bacon crumbles out of. And um, I just love this stuff. This is super awesome. If you've never tried it, really doesn't have a ton of flavor, um, but the macronutrients on this are super good. And from what I'm reading, this will store just like beans and rice indefinitely if you put it in mylar and store it correctly with oxygen absorbers. So this is what I'm going to be adding to my preps to have a form of complete protein without the added fats, which usually makes food spoil. So this is wonderful. You will also need some salt, some garlic powder, and some pepper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my bacon crumbles portioned out. I am going to be using a very small snack baggie because I want to keep these separate from the soup because I personally like to have mine have just a slight bit of crunch while I'm eating the soup. If you don't mind them being completely soggy, then you can just add them all together. Just is your preference, but I find if I do it this way, it tastes like chewy bacon bits and um, that's just how I prefer it. So we are going to add two tablespoons of our textured vegetable protein. You can get this at your grocery store. Um, I got this at Ingalls and you can also get it online on Amazon. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that. We are going to add in a fourth teaspoon of the soy sauce powder. And then we are going to add in an eighth teaspoon of our hickory smoked. I already have my fourth teaspoon out. I'm just going to use about half of that. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. And then we are just going to seal that up. Just 
just like that. Okay, so now into our jar. First layer we're going to do is our potato. Remember, this is a single serving. However, you can make this into a full meal for a family just by um, quadrupling all of the ingredients or doubling it. I did make this earlier um, for lunch and I almost couldn't finish the whole bowl. So this is extremely filling and would be perfect in an emergency because you just need water and um, super, super filling. We're going to use a half cup of potato flakes. We're going to put those directly in the bottom. The other ingredient you're going to want is the cheese powder. Um, this got accidentally set to the side, but this is the cheese powder that I'm going to be using today. It is vegan friendly. You can get this on Amazon as well. So we are going to need one tablespoon of the cheese powder. If you like your stuff super cheesy, you can always add more. love this stuff. This stuff is so yummy. Okay, so we've got our cheese powder. Then we are going to add in one tablespoon of our milk of choice. You can use powdered oat milk, coconut milk, almond milk. Just kind of gives it that creamy texture that we all enjoy in our loaded potato soup. are going to add in our seasonings. And then we are going to add in one half to one tablespoon of our onion. I'm gonna add in a full tablespoon in mine because I love onions. And then you are just going to stick your TVP right on top. And if you were storing this on your shelf, you would just add an oxygen absorber in or vacuum seal with your vacuum sealer jar attachment and store it on your shelf like this. This would probably fit into one of the tiny jars like this possibly, um, or a jelly jar. I just, I'm almost out of all of my jars at the moment because I've been doing a ton of preservation. Um, so I don't have any to show you, but this would probably definitely fit into a jelly jar and um, would store on the shelf nicely that way. All right, so that is how it looks. Now let's grab our bowl and our hot water and I'm gonna show you how to reconstitute this and make it into your delicious, cheesy, bacon, vegan friendly potato soup. All right, so in order to reconstitute this, I'm going to show you the first thing that I do. I'm going to take out my little baggie of bacon bits, my fake bacon bits. And we are going to add one tablespoon of our hot water right on top of these crumbles. I didn't quite get a tablespoon here. And we're just going to let those sit while we put together our soup bowl. We're just going to dump everything in. And we are going to add one and a half cups of hot water. So you can adjust the texture of this. If you like your soups thicker, you can add in a little bit more mashed potatoes. If you like it thinner, you can add in some water. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of make sure that these crumbles got, oh, these are perfect. I'm just stirring these up a little bit to make sure that the powdered smoke and the soy sauce get onto my bacon crumbles. And there you have it. Add your bacon crumbles. You can add some fresh chives, fresh parsley.
All right, I've got a taste tester. Cohen. Go try it. It is good. You like it? All right. Thanks, little man. High five. All right, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. We will see you in the next one. Bye.